Welcome to another video. This is a basic algebra problem. It is inequality and we've got rational expressions. There is something I have observed that many students do which is incorrect and I want to highlight it with this problem. Give it a shot before you continue watching the video and see if you'll make the same mistake that many students make. What do you think is the solution to this inequality? Let's get into the video. Now, this is the mistake that many students make. I'm gonna make the mistake now. You tell me if you catch the mistake. Okay, so I'm gonna look at this problem and go, okay, I don't want the fraction, so I'm gonna multiply both sides by um, x plus two, so I can get rid of it. So I'm gonna multiply this by x plus two, and I'll also multiply this by x plus two. Or you do what we call cross multiplication. Okay, that's what I'm doing now. Because if you do cross multiplication, what would you end up with? you're gonna end up with a certain answer, or you can cross multiply, and you're gonna end up with, well, this will cancel this, and this will cancel this, and you're gonna have x minus three is greater than or equal to negative five, right? And you can move this over, and you have x is greater than or equal to negative five plus three, so x is greater than or equal to negative two, right? Yeah, so this is your answer. But then you go, oh, I'm, I'm so smart. X cannot be two, cannot be negative two, because if X is negative two, then, um, then this would be undefined. So it means my answer cannot include negative two, so my answer is X is greater. I have to remove the or equal to option, so x has to be greater, so we say x is not equal to 2, therefore x is greater, I mean, is not equal to negative 2, so x is greater than um, negative 2 is the answer to this. So x is greater than negative 2, or you can say, um, if we do interval notation, negative 2 to infinity is our answer. And you go celebrate, but you're wrong. <laughs> you're absolutely wrong. Because what you have done is broken, you have broken the very first rule you should not break. Never cross multiply when you have inequalities because you do not know if x is positive or not. You do not know if x plus two is positive or not, therefore, when you cross multiply, you don't know if you should alter this or not. So generally, whenever you see inequality and you see rational equations, uh, rational expressions, never cross multiply. Because this answer, despite the feeling of being smart, that you realize you cannot have x equals 2, all of this is still incorrect. Let me show you what is correct. So let us assume I am the one trying to solve this problem and I'm not gonna make a mistake. That's an assumption. The first thing I'm going to do is look at the problem because it's a rational expression on this side and on this side. I say, what is it that X cannot be? I know X cannot be negative two. So that's the first answer I'm gonna write. I say that X is not equal to negative two. That's answer number one. Then I do what I like to do best, just solve the problem. Okay, so what I do is not cross multiply, I move everything to one side. So I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to have x minus three over x plus two. When this moves over here, this minus will become a plus. So I'm going to have um, plus five, over x plus two, and what I have left here is gonna be zero. Now, these two are the same denominator, so I'm going to put the top together. I'm going to have x minus three plus two 
divided by same denominator x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. What does, sorry, this is 5. So if I put these together, what do I get? I get x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. Uh, but this is, I can cancel out. What do I get? I get 1 is greater than or equal to 0. This statement is always true. You see that? I don't have to worry about anything. If at the end of the day, I have a statement that is always true, always true, it means every single value of x I plug into this inequality will work. The only number I need to worry about is this one because of the problem I'm going to have here of undefined in the denominator. So what is the answer to this problem? The answer to this problem is infinitely many solutions. I just have to say x is equal to all values on the number line except minus 2. So solution x is equal to all of the number line, all values of x, infinitely many solutions. Let me write it here. So x is equal to all values of r, that is every number on the number line except for negative 2. And this is how you write to except negative 2 if you're fancy, or you can say x is equal to <laughs> x is equal to not equal to negative 2. That's another solution. So you can write it this way, you can write it this way. Or you can decide to write it this way, negative infinity to negative 2 and negative two union. These are the three value answers. <sighs> Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.